how to add a PayPal button on Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can enable PayPal payments on your Shopify store and how you can add a designated button for PayPal payments. So let's get into it now. One thing to note is that before you build your PayPal button, you need to make sure that you have set out, check out your shipping and your payment methods for your basic general checkout. So make sure that you check out our video on how to set up Shopify checkouts, where I explain that in detail, where you can see what kinds of fields you need to fill in what kind of shipping methods you want to set up, your payment methods and your billing addresses and more. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you need to know whenever you're setting up your PayPal button is how you want to set it up. So if you go into your settings and go into checkout over here, then you will be able to see your basic checkout. And then right above checkout, you have payments. So if you go into payments and click on choose a provider, you will be shown multiple different payment providers. And if you're looking for a specific type of payments, you can go into payments, click on add payment method and search for the method that you're looking for. So if you actually search for PayPal over here, lay by powered by PayPal is one payment method that you can create or add, and it is currently available. However, this is not a direct method. And for some of you, you might want to add a direct PayPal method for integrating PayPal, PayPal payments. Well, for that, you might have to integrate with a plugin such as Elfsite or any other PayPal plugin. To do that, simply click on add apps on the bottom left and you will be able to see all of your apps. If you scroll down, you can click on your Shopify app store. And if you can't find your app settings, just click on settings on the bottom left, then scroll down and you will see apps and sales channels and click on Shopify app store on the top right. Now from here, you can search for Elfsite. So once you search for Elfsite over here, you're going to be able to see different types of plugins provided by Elfsite. There are also PayPal plugins. To make this easier, you can just go into the search bar and search for PayPal like this. So once you search for PayPal, they will give you multiple different types of PayPal thinking methods where you can actually create your PayPal buttons and accept payment via PayPal. Now, primarily, you're only going to be adding your email address to provide your PayPal method, but you need to be able to track and sync info. So what you're going to do is that you can choose any of these plugins. ProofPay is one of the great ones. It is currently operating on a paid plan and it's $9.99 a month. However, it is available for seven days for a free trial. Then you also have some other payment method providers like Tracky Pay, PayPal Tracking, as well as PayTrackster, Opt, MetaTrack, PayTrack as well. Now, to do this, we're simply going to get started with using PayTrackster and you're going to click on install. Now, PayTrackster is not my first preference. I would definitely recommend you can go to Prove Pay simply because it's a whole lot more trustable. So I do think that you can use their seven day free trial and then choose whether or not you want to upgrade later on or later on or not. So I'm just going to download this over here. And once I've downloaded it, I'm going to click on install app on the top right. Now, once I have installed the application on the bottom left, you will see the application and you can click on pin to navigation to make it easier for you to access your particular application. Now, after that, you're going to click on PayPal tracking under this app and you will be able to see you have to complete your onboarding. So I'm just going to click on Proofway, which was formerly known as Uptrack, and I'm going to add this over here and I'm going to set up PayPal and you guys can see over here you can get started with your basic trial so you can click on start your seven day free trial over here and this will show you a pop-up for the particular application and you will be able to see it will end on 8 November I'm going to click on approve over here and once I click on approve I can move to our next step now once you have approved the payment you're going to click on connect with PayPal and keep in mind that the payment will be deducted from the payment method that you input as your primary way to actually set up payments on your Shopify store so after that you're going to click on connect with PayPal over here and this will open up a pop-up and you can simply log into your PayPal PayPal address to set up PayPal. Now, once you actually have PayPal integrated, you will be able to have two options. You also get order tracking and PayPal tracking. And then after you have incubated the PayPal tracking into your orders, 
you can go into your settings on the top left and you will be able to see your PayPal tracking. And then you have your sync settings as well as notifications. So you can choose to get weekly reports, limit reached email notifications, order needs your attention, PayPal account issues, and more. Then you also have syncing settings, so by courier name or by tracking number, as well as digital order sync. After that, you can go into your Shopify app store over here. And once you open up your app store, you can go into your checkout directly. And once you go into your checkout over here, what you're going to do is you can actually edit this checkout page and you can add your own button over here. And this can be your prove way button to accept PayPal payments. So you can just go into settings, click on checkout and then click on customize checkout over here. Now, after you have done that, you can choose to do this in two different ways. You can add payment as a PayPal button. So what you're going to do is going to go into section, add payment as a PayPal button. So what you're going to do is going to go into section and you're going to go into your theme settings and you can click on checkout. You have your banner, logo and buttons and you can integrate your own button over here or you can just click on the app embeds and then enable the tracking page. So once you have this, you're going to click on save over here and you want to approve tracking page, which is basically the proof way order getaway. So people can choose the proof way order payment collection. So whether it be, might be Stripe or whether it might be PayPal, you want to make sure you approve this. So customers are able to select the particular type of payment that they want. And then you can go into your basic settings just to see if everything is working smoothly. Now, this is just one way to add payment methods, and there are multiple different types of payment methods, Klarna, as well as other third party payment methods available to see which ones are available natively on Shopify. You can go into settings on the bottom left and then you can click on payments on the left side. Then you can click on add payment method. Now, instead of searching by a provider, you can search by a payment method for a particular type of method that you want. You have things such as Visa, MasterCard, all of the basic stuff, but you also have Apple Pay, Google Pay, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Gcash, as well as KBC, Permata, UPB, as well as other banking options. So you're going to be able to provide for your customers multiple different types of payments available. Now, PayPal is one of the safest ways to go about payments and it's safe and secure and allows you to receive your payments timely. However, keep in mind that that is not a native integration. So sometimes you might have some issues with syncing up with your PayPal account and that can cause some issues. However, if you are up to date on all of your orders and if you're syncing them up properly, if you have any issues, you can always go to your PayPal account to see the particular checkout or the particular payment that you have an issue with and then you can choose to refund it or you know move further with your order anything you might want to do with your paypal orders so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you have any questions about paypal shopify or any other application leave those in the comment box down below i will love to help you guys out and i will catch you guys in the next video